I have to bring up psychological safety because that's the first piece is like, you know, ensuring that someone feels safe with you, right? To be able to, to receive um, constructive feedback that intentionally is helping them grow. And it takes an employee 15 minutes to fill out this check-in. And so it might ask, you know, what were your wins this week? And, you know, what were your priorities? What priorities did you accomplish? And what were your challenges? Um, and then um, the employee will submit the check-in. And then once it's submitted, the manager reviews it and it typically takes five minutes for the manager to review. So I realized that my calling and my personal passion was around helping people grow and develop and, and, and wanted to understand how can I do this more at scale? Yeah, I definitely believe in providing frequent feedback that is strengthening for a, a team member. And so, you know, people will call it critical feedback or constructive feedback, right? And I actually view it as coaching someone. Hi all, so finally I have the pleasure to speak with Jenny, who we've been trying to reach out to and speak with for quite a while. There were a lot of mis uh, scheduling problems, but we finally man managed to make it work. Let's welcome Jenny on 10 Minutes of Hiring Wisdom, who is a strategic and operational people leader who has driven organizational transformations for a lot of startups, scale-ups, and Fortune 500 companies. She knows all about culture and what makes an organization successful. Let's welcome Jenny on 10 Minutes of Hiring Wisdom. Hi Jenny, how are you doing today? Hi, Manal. I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. So, Jenny, can you tell us a little about where you work, what your position is within the company? Yes. I'm currently at 15-5. Um, it's the numbers 1-5 and, and, <laughs> and 5 spelled out F-I-V-E. And 15-5 is an organization that's on a mission to create highly engaged, high-performing organizations by helping people become their best selves. So in a nutshell, we are a manager enablement platform. And so we have performance reviews, engagement surveys, um, essentially tools that help managers be the best managers possible for their employees. And in addition to software, the software, we have um, a community of HR leaders. Um, it's called HR Superstars. We have um, manager education um, through our um, division called Transform. Um, and yeah, really, we want to bring, you know, not only the software paired with education and community to ensure that our HR leaders and uh, managers feel supported and to be able to drive organizational change and transformation. Yeah, well, that absolutely sounds amazing. But I'm just curious, how did 15.5, what does the name have to do with what the company does? Just curious because I love what the company does, which is to bring it to much more like optimization, productivity. But is there a reasoning behind the name? Because usually a lot of companies have a backstory. So we'd love to understand if there is. Yes, great question. And so um, what the practice is um, of the 15-5 <laughs> is um, a check-in. And so it's this um, check-in that you can fill out at the end of the week, and it takes an employee 15 minutes to fill out this check-in. And so it might ask, you know, what were your wins this week? And, you know, what were your priorities? What priorities did you accomplish? And what were your challenges? Um, and then um, the employee will submit the check-in. And then once it's submitted, the manager reviews it, and it typically takes five minutes for the manager re to review. And so, oh, wow. ha yeah, <laughs> having been a manager at previous organizations and not having a tool like 15.5, um, 15.5 has enabled me to be able to manage more at scale. When I first started at 15.5, I built the customer success team from three to 19 people. And it was just so helpful. When I had nine direct reports at one time, it just really helped me operationalize my own management and stay on top of understanding what were people's priorities and, you know, helping them stay on track to accomplish their goals. So yeah, it's a, it's an incredible product just as a, a wow. customer and user myself. No, no, I would have never guessed the names had such an interesting backstory because 15 minutes of a employee filling out and five minutes for the manager giving feedback, it just doesn't like, it gives you the whole idea of what the organization stands for. And it sounds absolutely amazing. So thank you for sharing that, Jenny. My next question for you, Jenny, would be how has it like feedback, of course, as in like constructive feedback always helps. So how do you make sure that the feedback that you give always helps employees perform even better from the last time that they got feedback? Absolutely. Yeah, I definitely believe in providing frequent feedback that is strengthening for a, 
a team member. And so, you know, people will call it critical feedback or constructive feedback, right? And I actually view it as coaching someone. And when it comes to understanding, you know, a person's role responsibilities and the outcomes that they're driving, like the role of a a manager is to act as a coach, right? Is that you are by their side and asking them questions as to how might they problem solve, right? Like they're encountering this issue, but how might they problem solve it on their own? And so it's not necessarily giving the answer, but asking a lot of thoughtful questions about how they could approach, um, you know, any given situation. And I think a lot of this has to do with, um, first, building the psychological safety and trust with the team member, right? So that they feel that they can bring up vulnerabilities or that they can bring up their fears with you. And so that like, I've got their back. And also at the same time, it's easier for a, me as the manager and coach to deliver that feedback because they're, then they're not necessarily taking it from a place of reacting, but more so, oh, like Jenny has my back and she wants me to grow and develop. And so, yeah, I, I have to bring up psychological safety because that's the first piece is like, you know, ensuring that someone feels safe with you, right, to be able to, to receive um, constructive feedback that intentionally is helping them grow. No, no. Um, I think I've seen that a lot take play where a lot of leaders are like, oh, I'm going to give a good feedback and everything. But it's not received so well just because the relationship doesn't exist there. And usually because a lot of companies these days are diverse. People come from different cultures, different backgrounds. So you need to be respectful towards that. And I think having that psychological safety itself is something so important just because it allows you to trust the other person has best interests at heart for you. So you're more likely to be like, okay, this is feedback. I can definitely work on it just because I know the other person has better intentions for me. So thank you for sharing that, Jenny. That's definitely helpful. Next question for you, Jenny would be how is it like working for 15.5 how has your experience been and your company has been growing so can you tell a little more about that and if you have any opening positions a lot of questions together so I'll give you the floor thank you so yeah I've been at 15.5 for four years I was employed employee 34 and um and now we're about 270 employees so I've seen the growth (laughs) I've undergone so much growth and transformation myself. As I mentioned, I I started um, as um, the leader of the customer success team. And then I actually moved um, over to our people and culture side of the house a little over two years ago. I realized that my calling and my personal passion was around helping people grow and develop and, and, and wanted to understand how can I do this more at scale? And so that's what led to me moving in house into um, the people and culture function. And I first started it out um, building out our talent development and manager development programs, and then stepped into this role as vice president in, of people and culture about a little over a year ago and have just been on this exponential trajectory of my own personal growth alongside our exponential growth as a company. So um, yeah, it's been an amazing place to work. I've never been in an employer this long and it's a testament <laughs> to our values and our, you know, how we approach work and how we really want to invest in our people and ensure that they're growing and developing um, alongside the company and contributing you know, uh, their zones of genius and, you know, them being able to do work that's energizing towards business outcomes. Um, so that said, um, yeah, we are absolutely hiring. Um, I, uh, definitely, um, for about a year I was owning the talent acquisition function. And right now we are hiring for product roles and marketing roles and it's 155.com black backslash careers is where you can find a lot of our openings. Um, we definitely, have some sales openings as well. So take a look and and I would be happy to chat as well. My email is Jenny, J-E-N-N-I-E at 155.com. So yeah, um, take a look. (laughs) Well, Jenny, you staying at 155 for four years is a testament of the fact that you love the company and what the company does. And I can definitely see why you love the company because it absolutely sounds amazing, especially because you as a leader embody the values that 155 promotes. And I think if leaders definitely reflect what the values are within the company, people within the company are more likely to believe in it and are more likely to work harder. So you are an excellent leader, Jenny. It was an absolute pleasure Mm -hmm. speaking to you, learning about your journey and how you help others strive in within their work environment as well. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Yes. Thank you, Manolo. It was a wonderful um, to be in conversation with you. Of course. 